University. Danielle, you have two parking tickets. They're both on Hudson Street and they're both overnight parking. So I was just hoping to pay the tickets. All right, Danielle, do you have a parking space where you can leave, park your car? There is, but there's like four other units. There's four units, so sometimes it's not always open. Do you have any children? I'm about to, not yet. Oh, this will be your first child? Yeah. Oh, okay. And having a boy or a girl? I, I didn't find out. Now, if you have a boy, are you thinking of any names for the boy? Yes. Oh. What are the names? Um, Lazarus, if it's a boy, mm -hmm. and Solen, if it's a girl. Oh, those are beautiful names. Thanks. If for some reason you change your mind, <laughs> you know, cause sometimes you know, we have different uh, circumstances in life that affect our judgment. But if you get stuck at the end and you can't think of a good name, I hear that the new name that's going to be a rage is Francesco. Okay. You like that name? Yeah. I think so. Let me hear you say it. Francesco. Francesco, right? She's, she's good. <laughs> that would be a great name for your baby. Okay. Just consider it. Okay. And then if you're looking for like a godparent or someone like that, I'm available. Okay. Thank you. You know, like a big gift for the kid. You know, every, every year bring the kid a gift. All of that. I've been trying for 25 years to get somebody to name a baby Francesco. I have not yet been successful. Okay. Now, why do you think I want you to do that? Why, do you, why, why would that be? Because that's your name. Oh, you figured it out. Yes. All right. Danielle, you qualified to buy a parking pass. The parking pass is $100. Okay. And that would allow you to park on the street for one year. You can't pay for the parking pass unless you pay for these tickets first. Okay. Uh, you have two tickets here that originally were $40, now have tripled to $120. Okay. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Instead of you spending $120 to pay for these tickets, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismiss these tickets. That's going to be a baby gift. Thank you. With a strong suggestion that you now buy a parking pass, and you can then park on the street in front of your house for one year. Okay. For the $100. Okay? Yes. Good luck. Thank you Good very much. Good luck for a happy, healthy baby. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Okay, Francis, what terrible thing did you do? You want to confess first? Well, it was a bad week. I got a parking ticket, and yeah. then I got this in the mail. I paid the parking ticket willingly. I guess um, I'm not so willing to pay this one. That's why I'm here. When did you pay the parking? I have an, I have an unpaid parking ticket. There's a wicked old parking ticket on there that I discovered when mm. I looked up my record to pay the current parking I, I'm ticket. I'm going to ask you a question, Francis, right? See, I want to see how good you are. Where were you on October 23rd, 2003, 15 years ago? Where <laughs> were you at 11.20 in the morning? Come on. I We've been watching you. You were on Clifford Street. <laughs> I don't even know where that is. I'm going to dismiss the ticket. Oh, well, thank you very much. The parking ticket. I appreciate that. Because I'm you, too old to worry about what happened in 2003. All you have to say is I want to come back and have a trial, and we have to go find the police officer. He's probably sunning in Florida somewhere. <laughs> Inspector Carrick would have to go get him next January. <laughs> well, I it's going to take me about six weeks to find him, though, Your Honor. <laughs> All right, what terrible thing do you want to tell me about speeding on Blackstone Boulevard? I think... You think what? I was cited for 30. I was driving 31. Yep. Is that not within the parameter you said you would dismiss? I just wanted to see if you were listening. Okay. I teach. I listen. <laughs> what do you teach? I'm a nursing professor. Okay. Where? At CCRI in Rhode Island College. Okay. How long have you been there? Uh, I think it's 18 years. I used, to, I used to address the faculty. Every I have year. been there when you have addressed the faculty. <laughs> I was going to have some fun with you, but I won't. I was going to ask you to mention. Oh, go ahead. My children are watching this. <laughs> I was going to say, tell me one thing that I said, and I'll dismiss the case. Oh, gosh. You said good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Francis. You were charged with doing 31 and the city does not prosecute unless the case is over 30. Right. So I have to make a decision. And I do it when I look at somebody and I decide, let me see now, is that person honorable, honest, decent, has respect and regard for the safety of others? I don't know about you. Oh, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking all about, of the uh, above, Your Honor. I'm thinking about this. Inspector Carrigan, what do you think? Does she meet that criteria? 
Questionable, Your Honor. Questionable? Ah. Yes. I felt the same way. You could, you know, I could tell, you know, she's... <laughs> we're already having fun with you. It's okay. All right. <clears throat> Based on my previous ruling that 31 does not satisfy the requirements of the statute, the matter will be dismissed. Great. And be careful there in the future. Yes. Okay. So my slate is clean now. You're free to go. Great. Right. Thank you very much, Ron. Have good, a great day. Good luck. <clears throat> Trial lawyers have an old saying, never ask a question to which you do not know the answer to. I was pretty confident that Frances would never remember my address to Rhode Island College faculty, but I didn't anticipate her clever answer, good morning. <laughs> that was a rookie mistake on my part and a smooth move on hers. Francis, I think someday you'll be back in my courtroom and I'll be waiting. I want a rematch. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.